guys, so since I moved house, I said to myself, Self, you're gonna become a minimalistic person. You don't need all that random crap in all your drawers. Just buy what you need and what you definitely want. Well, that promise lasted all of about four seconds. I've already filled all of these drawers with loads of crap that I don't need. So it's time for another things I regret buying. Although I don't always regret buying them. So we're gonna use the emotional scale again. So if I love the product, we're gonna go with this. Uh, if I think it's kind of average, we're gonna go with this face. Uh, Bit serial killer there. Slight duck face as well, don't know where that came from. And if I hate it, we're gonna go with shocked and horrified, which I'm gonna think is... No. <laughs> Was that like angry seagull? Anyway, now we've got the faces. Let's get to the... Oh, I really wanted something that rhymes with faces. Stuff. The first on my list is spreadable coffee. It's upside down. Spreadable coffee. Now I know that sounds horrendous, but bear with me a second, okay guys? You've woken up, you're running late, you want some toast, you want some coffee. There's only time to make one. Well, why not combine them into some spreadable coffee? I'm not helping the case, am I? <laughs> What's in these ingredients? Sugar, oranges, espresso. Oh, it's got actual espresso in it, so that could give you a little caffeine buzz. Maybe it'll be worth the pain of eating it. Sniff test. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's a lot worse than I thought it was gonna be. That was like a jump scare for my nose. Wow, it's like you've dolloped some marmalade in some coffee that's been left on the side for a week. Probably should have done this in the kitchen. Oh well, blob. Normally I put butter and marmalade on my toast, but I run out of butter, so sad times. Mmm, it smells better now it's on the toast. I think that's just because I can smell the toast. I see people doing taste tests on YouTube and they're just like, no, I'm gonna go right in there. Mm. Hmm, my tongue is so confused right now. I'm definitely getting the coffee flavor, which is going straight up my nose. I don't know why that's happening. You do get a bit of orange as well. It's not actually that bad. It smells a lot worse than it tastes. I think I'd rather just have marmalade and a coffee, but if you're in a rush, I think this is good. It doesn't get the full happy smile, but I think we're gonna go with a jump cut while I finish my toast. Next up is something I thought was a pretty genius invention foot dusters. Basically, they are dusters that you wear on your feet. I ordered purple ones, but they sent me hot pink. Not complaining. So you put these over your socks, like, <laughs> so. Oh, residue. I think the floral trim really adds to it. This is good for me, because I don't really like cleaning or mopping, so now I can just go get a snack, and I'm cleaning the floor at the same time. Doesn't even have to stop there either. Look, playing on my phone, cleaning my bed. Hey, mind if I slide into your DMs? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I was trying to make that look really funny and cool with just like a smooth slide and I almost fell on my back. I'm so glad I didn't fall over. I'm not even gonna try that again, that's just the, the thing. It's a pretty stupid thing, but I think it's actually quite a good invention, so I'm gonna give this a full on. Next up is something I do not remember buying. It is a relaxing bath gem light. I think this was during my bath bomb phase where I was really into just like sitting in the bath on my iPad and I thought maybe I could make it even more relaxing like Phil's home spa. Floating bath light. Use in and around the bath to create a relaxing mood. Multicolor effect. Ooh. <laughs> it feels very cheap. How do we get in here? All right, dim the lights. Here we go, guys. <laughs> I think this would be more of a bath headache than a bath relax. But there's only one way to test it out properly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how relaxing that is. What if I turn the light off? Alright, I'm definitely not relaxed. I feel like I'm about to get abducted by aliens. Take Tabitha instead. No. Next, something I'm very excited and was mainly denied as a child. I don't know why. Why did you deny me this, parents? Crystal growing. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things that when you become an adult, you're like, oh yeah, I never actually got to do that. Well, take this, mum. Kids Labs. It's got a Z because that makes it cool. Caution, some of these chemicals are a safety hazard. Keep away from your body and from your animal. I won't rub it in my face or my dog. This is going to be like Breaking Bad, but with less drugs and more moon crystals. The moon crystal takes seven days? And the other one takes four days? I thought this would be like a few hours or something. Ooh, the moon tree. Is it called a moon tree or is it just a tree? The snow tree. It takes three to four hours. We can do this. I'll keep you updated while I'm editing. Right, what do I need to do? First of all, you need 200 milliliters of boiling water. That's a good start. <laughs> Mix in the crystal solution and then leave it for 15 minutes. Fly, my pretties. Or drown, my pretties, I guess. 
I dropped my spoon in. Man down. Okay, then I think I slot this in there. No. And then I put my tree in this and the crystal should be born. Oh, it's a bit of a wonky tree. Okay, I'm gonna try a time lapse. So prepare for some science up in your eyes. She is complete. I'm happy with that. Guys, I made something without ruining it. I'm slightly tempted to lick it, but I don't want to go to hospital. So I'll just observe it from afar. My child. Don't say I never teach you nothing. Science. Next, because Halloween is on the horizon, I have purchased for myself, I'm quite excited about this. So maybe I won't regret buying this. A inflatable costume, which I did not know was a thing until it just popped up onto my recommended Amazon because of course I'm getting recommended inflatable costumes and I just had to buy it. So let's see how this works. This is quite intense. It's like a tent, it's quite intense. How am I gonna wear this? There's some batteries. I think this self inflates, which terrifies me and excites me. Aha, look at me with these life skills. How many fills did it take to unscrew an inflatable Halloween costume? Just one. Oh. Okay, maybe not one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna attempt to inflate it. Here we go. It's alive. Everything should self inflate. We're getting there. If anyone walked into my bedroom right now, this would be a very strange image. Are you ready to see my Halloween costume, Dan? Show me what you got, Phil. I don't know why it's made. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell is that? Look at it. Oh my god. You're gigantic. What do you think? Is that gonna pump? Yeah, it's But it pumping. has to be on all the time. Yeah. It's giving me a nice vibration in my butt though. I you, quite like it. Bruh. It looks a bit romantic. It, does, it doesn't look that it. scary, does it, it? It doesn't look scary. It looks like he kind he's, of loves me. Yeah, in a creepy way. I feel like a third wheel filming this with you right now. <laughs> I don't know how practical this would be if you actually went to a Halloween party. I think you'd... <laughs> I think you get a lot of attention anyway. I just want to be loved. Phil, what did you do? I don't know. What's it making Why noise? is it making that noise? I don't know. Please kill me. Rest in peace. I never asked for this life. <laughs> so Halloween costumes aside, it's so distracting talking with this giant thing on my shoulder. Uh, if you didn't see on the gaming channel, Dan and I have made an actual board game. It's finally here. It's called Truth Bombs. It's a party slash card game. It's really fun. I'm not just saying that. I think you'll like it. We played a whole game of it on the gaming channel if you want to see how it works. So make sure you check out that video. Also, you can go to Dan and Phil's shop where you can get some free stickers as well if you get the game. And I'm going to head off now into the distance with my demon. So you can give me a thumbs up if you want to see more of things I regret buying. Subscribe by clicking my little face to see when my next video is. Make sure you check out Truth Bombs in the description and the gaming channel where we play it is over there somewhere. Have a happy Halloween. Make sure you check out Spooky Week on the gaming channel because it's gonna be scary. Or probably just lots of Dan falling off his chair. Goodbye. How do I get out of this thing? It's actually killing me. <laughs>